Did you see Caitlin Clark's game against the Minnesota Lynx? She dropped 17 points, dished out 6 assists, and led the Indiana Fever to a stunning 81-74 victory. And guess who was on the opposing bench? Cheryl Reeve, the coach who snubbed Clark from the Olympic team. After that performance, do you think Reeve regrets her decision? We've kept our opponents under 84 and obviously 74, so even though we probably didn't, you know, shoot the ball the greatest, uh, we just found a way to win. We're resilient. We From the very beginning, it was clear that Caitlin Clark was on a mission. She played with a level of confidence and determination that was impossible to ignore. Early in the game, Clark started dishing out some incredible passes that left everyone in awe. One moment that stood out was when she seemed trapped, with no clear options available. But then, out of nowhere, she found a perfect pass that set up an easy bucket for a teammate. It was one of those plays that made you sit up and realize you were witnessing something special. There was this one shot where she had a defender all over her. Yet, she still managed to get the ball up and over, sinking a three that sent the crowd into a frenzy. The sheer audacity of that shot, combined with her ability to make it under such pressure, was a testament to her skill and poise. That moment felt like a turning point, not just in the game, but in Clark's burgeoning career. Caitlin, hit it! But Caitlin's impact wasn't limited to flashy plays. She was a steady force throughout the game, orchestrating the offense and making smart decisions. Her court vision was on full display, especially in the final minutes of the game. The Fever were trailing by seven points going into the fourth quarter, and it looked like the Lynx might pull away. But then Clark took over. She scored 10 points and handed out two key assists in those final 10 minutes. Ball, Clark, passed up the long three. Into Boston, give the assist to Clark with the ball. Leading her team to an epic 81, 74 victory. One of the most crazy plays came near the end of the game. Clark faked a shot and in a split second, delivered a perfect pass to Aaliyah Boston under the basket. It was a play that showcased her incredible court vision and unselfish play, making it clear that she wasn't just about scoring, but also making her teammates better. Even though her final stats, 17 points, six assists, and three rebounds might not seem earth shattering at first glance. Anyone who watched the game knew how crucial she was to the Fever's success. Every move she made was calculated, and her presence on the court was undeniable. She wasn't just playing well, she was elevating everyone around her. But it wasn't all that easy for her to get where she is today. At first, things were a bit rocky for Clark. Transitioning from college to the pros is no small feat, and she definitely felt that adjustment period. You could tell she was trying to get used to the speed and physicality of the game. It's like when you start a new job and you're just trying to keep up with everything being thrown at you. Clark was no different. She had all this hype coming into the league, but those first few games showed she was still finding her footing. There were moments where she hesitated, second-guessed her shots, and made some passes that just didn't connect. But you know what? That's all part of the process. As the season progressed, Clark started to hit her stride. It was like watching someone finally get comfortable in their own skin. Her confidence grew with each game. Suddenly, those hesitant shots turned into confident three-pointers that left defenders shaking their heads. Her court vision, which was already pretty impressive, became even sharper. She started making these incredible, almost magical passes that threaded through defenders and found her teammates perfectly positioned to score. It's the kind of playmaking that makes you sit up and pay attention. One of the biggest changes has been in her decision making. Early on, you could see she was trying to do too much at times, forcing plays that weren't there. But now she's playing with a calm, collected demeanor. She knows when to push the tempo and when to slow it down, making smart choices that benefit the whole team. It's that maturity on the court that separates the good players from the great ones. Leadership is another area where Clark has truly shined. You can see her taking on more responsibility, not just in scoring or making plays, but in rallying her team. She's become a true floor general, directing traffic, encouraging her teammates, and stepping up in clutch moments. 
Her presence on the court is calming and inspiring, and it's clear her teammates feed off her energy. As they outscored Minnesota 28 to 4. Clark finished with 17 points, six assists, three rebounds, and two steals. Those stats might not scream record breaking, but if you watched the game, you'd know she was the heartbeat of the team's victory. She scored 10 of her 17 points in the crucial fourth quarter, leading the Fever to outscore the Lynx 28, 14 in those final minutes. It was like watching a maestro conduct an orchestra. But Clark's influence goes beyond just her personal stats. Her presence on the court elevates everyone around her. Take Kelsey Mitchell, for instance. Mitchell was the team's top scorer with 21 points, and a lot of that comes from the space and opportunities Clark creates. When you've got a player like Clark who can draw defenders and make those pinpoint passes, it frees up shooters like Mitchell to find their rhythm and knock down shots. Then there's Aaliyah Boston, who dominated the paint with 17 points and 16 rebounds. Boston's performance was stellar, and it's no coincidence that she's thriving with Clark orchestrating the offense. Clark's ability to read the game and make quick, smart decisions means Boston is getting the ball in perfect positions to score. Plus, Clark's threat from the outside, Ingham, pulls defenders away from the basket giving Boston more room to operate inside. And let's not forget Nalissa Smith, who chipped in 11 crucial points. Smith has been benefiting from Clark's leadership and vision on the court. Clark's unselfish play style means she's always looking for the best scoring opportunity, whether that's taking the shot herself or setting up her teammates. Smith's contributions, though perhaps quieter on the stat sheet, are just as vital and often come from Clark's ability to create and distribute. Watching Clark play, you can see how her energy and skill set a tone for the entire team. She's not just making herself better, she's making everyone around her better too. Her court vision and passing ability are contagious, and you can see her teammates feeding off that, playing with more confidence and cohesion. It's like she's the glue holding everything together and her leadership is helping the Fever play as a more unified and effective unit. Before the game even started, Cheryl Reeve had some interesting things to say. During the pre-game press conference, Reeve seemed unfazed by the hype surrounding Caitlin Clark. She joked about the Lynx playing in front of what would likely be a pro Fever crowd, even though they were at home. I don't give two, not even one, same gray. She told reporters, clearly confident in her team's ability to handle the situation. Reeve knew the Fever and their star rookie were a big draw, but she wasn't about to let that shake her or her team. However, the tone changed dramatically after the game. Once the final buzzer sounded and the Fever secured their 81-74 victory, Reeve's demeanor was noticeably different. She couldn't ignore Clark's incredible performance and its impact on the game. During the post-game interview, Reeve was asked about the playoff-like atmosphere and the huge turnout of fans to see Clark play. She didn't hold back, admitting, Everybody knows that the reason why our teams around the league are having sellouts is because Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever are coming to town. Reeve went on to acknowledge the importance of capitalizing on these moments for the league's growth. She compared Clark's influence to the impact legends like Bird and Magic had on the NBA, emphasizing that the WNBA needs to seize this opportunity to boost its profile. The league has been building for a watershed moment, and we're here, she said. Now you've got to take advantage of it. Reeves' comments were not just a nod to Clark's talent, but also a recognition of her role in drawing fans and increasing the league's visibility. So. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.